Hey folks, it's Jir and welcome to a quick play of Earth of Iron 4 with Kingdom of Egypt trying to getting freed from being a puppet. And right now I started the second, uh, the second episode and I got a power failure about 17, 18 minutes in. So basically what happened is last episode we've seen uh, Netherland got involved into the war with the German Reich and that basically pulls us into that war. And the only thing we've done here is capture a little bit of territories in uh, Libya. And we tried to move uh, across the Italian's land to start capturing stuff. But otherwise there isn't much been going on against us. We do have the Brits defending the south of our country and attacking into Ethiopia. And uh, the Soviet Union is still getting beaten on. And we're on the same side as the Soviet Union this time around. I'm not sure what they're doing, doesn't seem like there's any German resistance here unless it's bugged up because I'm not actually in the same faction at STEM so I cannot see what they're seeing. Uh, we do have a reorganized nationalist China that's a puppet of Japan that's attacking uh, India, the Raj and France here. Uh, seems like everything's going well for them and the rest of the world is uh, pretty much at peace. So we're still piercing that pocket here against uh, the Italians. Let's speed up a bit here. It's a bit slow. Jill Brother just fell down to the Spaniards. The Spaniards are invading into Morocco too. That's not good. We still have some insufficient steel and aluminium. But we will not be too bothered by that at the moment. Because I don't want to waste all my resources just to knock out one well set up unit here defending a very high uh, defense and we got encryption too that's useful let's go for decryption too so we'll be able to see what the hell they're doing on their end non aggression pack from Luxembourg we will accept that not really a choice ah, poor Italian troops in the uh, Libyan desert seems like they're losing ground faster than they wish How about here France getting punched. Uh, Netherlands getting punched. Soviet Union. They're still holding on to Stalingrad. They haven't lost Stalingrad yet, so. Currently need an average of five tanks a day. So we're not making enough tanks a day. I'm not making anything enough a day. As they quantity produce and yeah, we're barely making anything here why has that become French what the hell is that that's just so dumb why did that become French that's where the freaking oil is I sure want that oil Kingdom of Libya's claims here. Kingdom of Libya and getting shit. What's the uh, general war like? 51% in favor of the aggressor. Yeah, I'm not too surprised about that. What's my personal participation? 3%. A lot of the uh, occupation casualties. No bombings. I don't know why. These people are moving back, I think. Yeah, I think the UK will be able to deal with that in a quite simple and efficient way. You stop, you move here. You stop, you move here. And the Soviet Union influence, blah blah blah. Whatever they're doing, it's not really helping the cause. They're still stuck at Stalingrad. It's going very slowly. Because uh, we have the speed set down. That's probably why we don't see much increase on their end. Uh, what do we want? I think... I think... Mobile warfare might be good. Get us some uh, breakthrough from the tanks. Let's speed it up a little bit. Do these guys still have resources? Yeah, they still have resources to, to fight. If we all concentrate our troops to attack the airport. Oof, they're 
really strong. Yeah, it really sucks that that became French when I clearly did all the dirty work. And Turkey just joined the enemy. That's very bad. Probably get a large Turkish invasion from here. Or they're probably gonna concentrate on the Soviet Union, push out. It all became French. That's so dumb. The France. France did nothing in North Africa. I did all the dirty work and they're getting all the credit and the goodies from it. Anyway. Uh, we got 45 autonomy points from our involvement in the conflict in North Africa. Alright, so we cannot uh, invade navally right now because we need the technology to do so so let's grab that technology 123 days we do have turkey in a bad spot here probably use our troops to help out in turkey might be actually what we need to do actually what we will be doing right now all right whatever all right so good light things tree that's very nice ah uh, so the full light things has been developed Let's go maybe for some upgraded maintenance company that will be useful to uh, preserve the amount of things we're wasting in this battle. Let's go tanks, create that to light tank tree. Let's actually create a variant right now since we have some uh, army experience to spare. Maybe better engines. No, no, don't even need a better engine. Some reliability. A main gun. Two main gun, two reliability will be good enough. So, after our uh, tightening warfare that was going on against Italy in Northern Africa, I'm pretty sure against Turkey we'll have a better chance of uh, dealing more damage and receiving less damage because they're just another minor nation, so they probably won't be strong enough to do too much damage to us. Let's hope France deals out with all the Spaniards in Africa and that will mean, uh, yeah, that pretty much means Africa will be freed from the Axis except for a few spots here and there. And we got Aleppo here. Hmm, taking Aleppo will be a good thing to do. I don't feel like they're in good position. Yeah, no, definitely not in good position to defend Aleppo. Yeah, these troops are definitely weak so we will have a strong push against them to push them back up to the Soviet line here and across all the way across Turkey we'll see if we do go Comet to help out because here is the German troops and the German troops are really strong so I don't think I want to deal with that France is 71% and Soviet Union is 74% So yeah, they're very likely to be capsulating any time now Hmm Let's see how well uh, the luck goes So we lost 40,000 in the last 12 months. Let's see the last the Last two months 10,000 troops Win ratio 68% That's very nice did lose a lot of stuff to attrition, but we're still connected with the troops here, and that's a good thing because uh, honestly, there's a there's a lot of troops here. I sure don't want to lose that, and we can raise our autonomy. Nice. Change autonomy to colony. Cannot call. Cannot declare war. Cannot decline call to war. But we got extra trade to overlord. Less manpower sharing, technology sharing, bonus minus 50%. So let's go for colony. And here we are a colony. Good. Good. And oh, okay, we need to get Dominion next. And I think after Dominion, we will become uh, free. Anyway, looking at the time, folks, I think that will be enough for another episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to drop a like, a share, and a comment. And make sure to subscribe to see more.
and don't forget we're now a colony and we'll be becoming a dominion hopefully eventually so thank you for watching and see you next time